For residents and visitors alike, there's no shortage of family fun in Tampa. Tampa is perfect for a vacation or a weekend getaway. Whether it's walking the ecosystems at Florida Aquarium, riding a roller coaster at Bush Gardens, or hanging out the beach, plenty to do for all ages. So today, we are talking about some of the best things you can do while you're visiting Tampa. How about a trip to the zoo? We have Zoo Tampa, which was formerly known as Larry Park Zoo. I have been going to the zoo probably since the day I was born. And over the years, I have taken my grandchildren, my nieces and my nephews, and now I'm taking my great nieces and nephews to the zoo. Zoo Tampa was named Tampa's best family attraction and is an 11-time TripAdvisor Traveler's Choice Award winner. It provides unforgettable adventures for people of all ages, and Zoo Tampa has expanded to 56 acres of naturalistic animal exhibits and a lush tropical garden setting. There's so much to do here at the zoo. There are educational programs, a water park to cool off in, there are rides and up close animal encounters. The zoo has engaging seasonal events such as Christmas in the Wild, Creatures of the Night for Halloween, Bugtopia in the Spring, and Zoo Brews. Zoo Tampa is a place to go for all ages. They offer pay for a day and come back all year long. If you're interested in interactive museums, then check out MOSI, which is the Museum of Science and Industry. It is a science museum and is one of the largest in the southeastern United States. The museum has a planetarium, a science theater, and over 450 interactive exhibits on a 74-acre campus. Throughout the year, MOSI has various events such as science camps for kids, science-themed sleepovers, and special exhibitions. Overall, MOSI is a fun and educational destination for science and technology enthusiasts of all ages. Or play with the purpose at the Glacier Children's Museum, Tampa's interactive learning laboratory where children can play, discover, and connect with the world around them. The museum has been a downtown Tampa landmark since its inception in 2010. Over the course of a decade, the museum has become an essential part of Tampa Bay's cultural corridor of museums, libraries, theaters, and performing arts centers. How about checking out the Tampa Bay History Center? The History Center tells the tale of Tampa Bay's and Florida's history, heritage, and culture. Starting with a look at the first inhabitants of Florida who lived on the peninsula around 10,000 years ago and continuing through the arrival of the European explorers in the 1500s to Tampa Bay's current role as a port city. Not only that, the History Center offers engaging, kid-friendly exhibits that make for a fun day out for everyone. And right now, you can view the brand new Treasure Seekers, Conquistadors, Pirates, and Shipwrecks. A 60-foot replica of a pirate ship from the 18th century may be found in this recently completed History Center extension, along with priceless relics that were rescued from shipwrecks off the beaches of Florida. The Tampa Theater is one of the America's most elaborate movie palaces and a beloved community favorite. I love going to this theater to watch classics such as Casablanca. You will enjoy being in a romantic Mediterranean courtyard replete with old world statues, flowers, and gargoyles under a realistic night sky with twinkling stars. Tampa Theater's single auditorium is one of the most heavily used venues in the United States. It hosts over 700 events annually, including a full schedule of first run and classic films, concerts, special events, corporate events, backstage tours, and educational programs. Love roller coasters and animals? Well, how about Bush Gardens? Again, being a Tampa native, I have seen Bush Gardens grow in leaps and bounds. USA Today voted it to be the top five best theme parks in 2022, and Amusement Today voted the Iron Wazi the best new roller coaster for 2022. There is so much to do here. It is a family-friendly theme park that offers up-close encounters with exotic animals, roller coasters, and live entertainment. 
The park's zoological collection includes nearly 12,000 animals representing over 300 species. In addition, there is an animal care center where guests can closely observe and treatment they provide to animals on a daily basis. They offer seasonal events such as the terrifying, and I do mean terrifying because I refuse to go, Halloween, and the holiday wonderland of Christmas Town. And there is so much more to offer. So if you love roller coasters and animals, this is the place to be. They have all types of memberships, and the one that I enjoy the most is the fun card. I can go all year round for a discount and include Adventure Island or Sister Park. And speaking of Adventure Island, Adventure Island has four different pools to explore, including the 17,000 square foot wave pool, kid-friendly splash areas, slides, and pools for all ages. And my favorite is the half a mile calming lazy river where I can lay in a tube and float through the park. Adventure Island is a seasonal park and is only open from March through September. It starts winding down about October, November, and is only open on Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays with a complete shutdown from mid-November through the end of February. You could check out one of Tampa's hidden gems, Skipper Smokehouse. Skipper Smokehouse is a popular music venue and restaurant established in 1980. It has become a staple of the local music scene, hosting live performances by local and nationally renowned musicians. In addition to its music offerings, Skipper Smokehouse is also known for its delicious seafood and southern style cuisine, and it's mostly famous for their blackened grouper sandwich. The restaurant has won numerous awards and accolades for its food and entertainment, including being named one of the top 100 jazz clubs in the world by Downbeat Magazine. So don't forget to check out Skipper Smokehouse when you're in town. Next we have Channel Side, a downtown Tampa entertainment complex. This is one of Tampa's fastest growing neighborhoods with high rise condominiums, specialty shops, dining, and entertainment options. Channel Side has a plethora of bars, outdoor patio bars with live music, and upscale restaurants, or you can hang out and watch the large cargo and cruise ships enter and exit through the port. If you're looking for a nearby beach without having to go to the Pine Hills County side of things, then look no further than Venti Davis Beach. This beach has powdery white sand, calm waters, and picnic shelters. This is the closest beach to downtown Tampa. It is a popular tailgate spot for the locals and is right next to the Courtney Campbell Trail, which is a four mile biking and walking bridge. And if you want to catch the sunset, then this is one of the best places in town to catch it. How about a visit to Waterworks Park? It has a dog park, covered and shaded picnic areas, a playground, and a splash pad for the kids. There is also an amphitheater for special events, a boat dock, and water taxi spot. This is also one of the public places that connects to the Tampa Riverwalk. Speaking of the Tampa Riverwalk, it claims second place among USA today's America's Top 10 Riverwalks. It stretches 2.6 miles long along the Hillsborough River. This scenic spot will surely amaze you. Whether you're strolling around the harbor or checking out one of the many sculptures or bridges, it's easy to spend a few hours here, relaxing on the river. Some of the highlights along the river walk include the Tampa Bay History Center, the Florida Aquarium, the Strad Center, and the Curtis Hickson Waterfront Park. You can take in the gorgeous views of downtown Tampa and from one of its many outdoor patios and observation points. Pack a picnic lunch, take plenty of photos, and breathe in the fresh sea air. With plenty of benches and lush greenery, it's a great spot for a peaceful break from the hustle and bustle of city life. Poor City is next on the list. Some will pronounce it Ybor, but it is pronounced Ebor. This vibrant neighborhood in Tampa is known for its rich history, colorful architecture, and lively entertainment scene. Whether you're looking for bites to eat, shop, or experience the local nightlife, Ybor City has something for everyone. A popular destination in Ybor City is the Columbia Restaurant where you can grab a Cuban sandwich or experience authentic Spanish cuisine. 
After satisfying your taste buds, you can take a leisurely stroll down 7th Avenue and soak in the lively atmosphere of this historic district. There are plenty of shopping options in New York City from unique boutiques to antique shops, where you will find anywhere from vintage clothing to rare collectibles. And when it's time to refuel, Ybor City boasts a diverse selection of eateries and pubs where you can enjoy everything from craft beer and cocktails to dining. So come and experience the charm of Ybor City, where history meets entertainment and culture meets cuisine. Or how about exploring Tampa's beautiful parks? If you're looking for an outdoorsy experience away from the city, you might want to check out a couple of parks. Hillsborough River State Park and Lettuce Lake Regional Park is the perfect spot to go for a leisurely stroll. Both are home to some of Florida's most breathtaking natural scenery. Also, they offer lots of fun activities from swimming, fishing, and kayaking to miles of hiking. Not just that, there's plenty of wildlife, and scenic vistas to Meyer. Plus, you'll get to explore boardwalks, hammocks. You could check out Tampa Electric's Manatee Viewing Center. You can view manatees in their natural habitat all year long. It's a great place to take the family and connect with nature without spending a dime. All you have to do is navigate your way to Apollo Beach, set up camp at the viewing center, and watch these majestic creatures play in their home. You can also take part in interactive exhibits and educational programs or enjoy a beautiful sunset Another one of the must-sees is definitely the Tampa Firefighter Museum. Featuring a variety of displays, artifacts, and interactive activities, this museum lets you explore what it's like to be a firefighter. You can learn about the history of firefighting in Tampa from horse-drawn engines to motorized vehicles and equipment. Or get hands-on with fire hose training and simulations to understand how firefighters respond to an emergency. Whatever you do here, you'll surely have an unforgettable time. Are you a fan of cigars? If so, the J.C. Newman Cigar Company is a must visit in Tampa. It's one of the oldest family owned cigar companies in the United States. They offer guided tours through their museum and even let you roll your own cigar from start to finish. And if you're not interested in rolling a cigar, there's still plenty to do during your visit since each tour also includes samples of some of their favorite products. So don't miss out on this unique opportunity for a free tour and experience at one of Tampa's iconic locations. If you're looking for a unique and affordable way to explore Tampa, look no further than the Tico Line Streetcar. This electric streetcar system runs from downtown Tampa to Ebor City and it's free for everyone. With this vintage style interior, the Tico Line Streetcar is the perfect way to take in all the sights and sounds of Tampa's hustling and bustling city life. The line traverses through some of the city's most iconic spots, including the University of Tampa, Sparkman Wharf, Armature Wharf, and more. Not only can you take in all of these attractions, but you can also experience Tampa Bay's history along the way. Also, it runs along an old railroad line, so be sure to keep an eye out for historical artifacts as you ride. Plus, with regular stops every 15 minutes, you'll never have to wait too long to ride in case you decide to get off and explore. So hop on board to the Tico Line Streetcar and enjoy a unique and affordable journey through one of Florida's most vibrant cities. Sparkman Wharf is an absolute must visit for those seeking fun and adventure in Tampa. This vibrant waterfront spot is home to upscale restaurants, markets, and endless breathtaking views of the waterfront. While visiting, you can enjoy a variety of free activities like biking or walking along the boardwalk, admiring public art with the Sparkman Wharf Bureau Walk. They have entertainment like outdoor movie screenings to live music events and there's never a dull moment. And on select days, you can enjoy craft beer and cocktails at the outdoor beer garden while admiring the artwork of local vendors. For the kids and the kids at heart, you can participate in various rotating activities, including boot camp classes and more. If you're looking for a beautiful church to visit, look no further than Sacred Heart Catholic Church. 
the church was built in 1905 by the Jesuits, is predominantly Romanesque and is important to Tampa's architecture, culture, and history. It boasts a stunning interior featuring 70 stained glass windows and soaring ceilings with intricate detailing. The exterior has also been recently renovated so that you can admire the details up close. Wat Tampa is an experience you won't want to miss. The stunning Buddhist temple is located in the heart of Tampa and is a sight to behold. Established in 2000, the temple offers various services and activities that are free and open to the public. At Wat Tampa, you can explore the 35 foot Buddha statue, stroll around the temple grounds, learn more about Buddhism in the library or shrine hall, and you can check out various cultural events throughout the year. Wat Tampa is also home to a beautiful meditation center offering free mindfulness and Buddhist philosophy classes. The possibilities are endless at this vibrant spiritual center. Soho and Hyde Park Village could be next on your list. South Howard Avenue, better known as Soho, is a must visit. When you're in Tampa, it's one of the city's best streets for nightlife. So if you're looking for a safe place for bar hopping, look no further than South Howard, simply because of the amazing variety of bars and the nightclub choices and the eclectic atmosphere. No matter your interest, a venue in Soho will surely be calling your name. If you want to shop locally and dine at some of Tampa's great restaurants, check out Hyde Park Village. Hyde Park Village also offers a farmer's market on the first Sunday of every month and weekly trivia night and live entertainment at Iris 31. How about a trip to the Florida Aquarium? Dive into the fantastic sights, sounds, and experiences from tree level to sea level at the Florida Aquarium. You get to explore animal habitats featuring animals from right here in our very own backyard to exotic locations throughout the globe. From mysterious sand tiger sharks and playful otters to tiny seahorses and inquisitive sea turtles. They also have a couple of different experiences you can participate in, such as the wild dolphin cruise where you sail and search for wild dolphins, and the Sea Trek, a guided underwater walking tour in their 15 foot deep part of the sea habitat. It is designed for non divers 10 years of age or older, and the Sea Trek allows participants to explore coral caves amongst the hundreds of fish, spotted eagle rays, bonnethead sharks, and loggerhead sea turtles who call it home. So you never know what you'll discover when you visit the wide variety of animal species at the Florida Aquarium. You might be interested in catching a game or two if you are sports enthusiasts. If you enjoy football, be sure to catch a Buccaneers game. If you enjoy soccer, then you can catch the Rowdies in St. Petersburg. We also have the Lightning, our hockey team, and the Tampa Bay Rays for baseball. And during the spring training, we have the New York Yankees. And if you don't mind driving an hour or so to Orlando, you can catch a basketball game with Magic. So that sums up our top things to do in Tampa. If you're considering a move to Tampa, click on the link below for my free relocation guide. I'm Tracy Pines. I'm a realtor here in Tampa, Florida with Real Estate Solutions. Let me help you make your move easy. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, share it with a friend. Till the next video, have a great day.